Hi guys, I have started dismantling one of the Fort Fusion's battery. I took the, the rails on the left and the right that secure the top of the battery, like these here, these rails, I took them off. And now I'm in process of undoing the nuts on the connectors. Uh, it's a tedious job and it was a pain to find the right socket. I still don't have it because eight millimeter socket is too big. The seven millimeter is too small. The 516 socket is too big, quarter inch too small, and based on my research, I was told it's a 12.75 millimeter socket that is not popular or is not in the market. Too many of them, I couldn't find any. So I'm using a 6.516. That I have to be careful not to damage the the soft nuts. So I mean, the process of taking it apart. And I'll keep you posted. Stand by, please. Okay, I took the strap on the top off, and it's configured to be, as you see. Uh, positive, negative, and it in series. What I did, I took one of the batteries out. It has a, like a barcode or something up there. I cannot, I cannot see what it is. And they're all in that configuration. So what I'm going to do is make all the positive like, like this to one end and the negative on top so we'll have a 12 volt battery. So I can connect all four of them to get 24 volt two and two or just 12 volts and the interesting thing that Ford did this pigtail here is the balancer charger and it's connected to each terminal as you can see there and also, the Ford installed the temp sensor there, and right there, to check the temperature of the batteries, and also balance charge them through the processor that connects to this end here. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the voltmeter, this battery, the single one, and read the readings, the 3.7, it is almost charged, but hey guys, Please be careful if you're gonna do something like this. Do your due diligence and be extra careful. There's still about 150 volts in here. And that can knock the lights off you. Turn you in a little dust or a cloud. So please, please, please be careful. There's a lot of energy in here. 
so it was it guys I mean it was fun to do in it and it's gonna be a tedious job to pull all these cells out and line them up the way I want them and make a useful battery so I'll keep you in the process and thanks for watching